This video tutorial is all about how long notes last, not their pitches. The M8 can play notes that can be found in the full MIDI range, but that's not what concerns me here. Rather, I want to talk about how the device deals with the lengths or values of the notes from the mighty semi breve or whole note, which fills up an entire M8 phrase right down to a note value which is slightly shorter than a dotted semi, hemi, demi, semi quaver. This is a 196th note or tick in M8 speak. This note value does not exist in the world of musical notation, but if it did, you would need 96 of them to fill the same space as a semi brief, i.e. a phrase or bar in 4-4 time. The word resolution has two meanings in music. Here, resolution refers to the smallest note value playable on the M8, the tick. As resolution goes, the M8 does not have a particularly high one in terms of ticks, as some computer sequences have resolutions with far more ticks per 1 16th note. Reason, for instance, has 260 ticks per 16th note or semiquaver, whereas the M8 only has 6. Therefore, the value of a tick varies from sequencer to sequencer. Think of this. Some clocks have a hand which ticks every second and that's a very low resolution when compared to the M8. Having said all this, a resolution of 6 ticks for 1 16th note will deal with most musical scenarios that the modern musician will encounter. On the M8, notes can be placed on any one of the 96 slots available, not just on the 16 steps of the phrase 0 to F or 1 to 16. How that can be accomplished is the subject for another video. When dealing with value or how long notes last, everything in the world of musical notation is dealt with in terms of fractions. And that is, if the semi brief is a whole note, the minim is a half note, the crotchet is a quarter note, halving all the time, all the way down to the semi, hemi, demi, semi quaver, which is a 1 128th note and has five curled up beams. When more than one of these notes are played sequentially, these beams are straightened out and cause the notes to be joined above or below, which is far more pleasing to the eye. Notes of even smaller value can be found in the world of music, but cannot be played on the M8. The first thing I am going to play you is a small piece of music with only one note, in which I will demonstrate all of the note values from the whole down to the 128th and their relative values when set against a metronome for reference. The piece starts in 4-4 with a semi brief and then two minims, four crotchets, etc. The amount of notes per bar doubling as their values halve with more and more notes crammed into the bar until, when it attempts to play the semi, hemi, demi, semi quavers, there are too many notes and you will see the time signature change to one over four for four bars as an entire stave is needed to accommodate the vast number of notes. In this case, it's 32 on each. The tempo of this piece is a ridiculously slow 30 BPM, but even at this snail's pace, the end section sounds like a road drill or a woodpecker. No dotted notes are heard in this piece, but they can be played on the M8 just as well, and I will talk about them later in this tutorial. Hello and welcome to What Makes the M8 Tick and by this title I'm referring to the note resolution of the Dirty Wave M8. Uh, it takes a little while to get your head around this but basically uh, the thing operates in phrases and each phrase has 16 steps 
you could call those 16 semi quavers if you like on the screen there you can see on the left hand side the steps of a phrase going from naught to F and this is in hexadecimal it's the same as going from 1 to 16 in decimal okay so uh, F is 15 and naught is 1 it's a bit weird but I've done another video about hexadecimal so you could check that out if you like if you're not too sure about that phrases can only be one bar long but of course can be copied and altered and strung together in chains now each step is divided into six ticks so the one that's highlighted here this c1 this is a note of c1 on step naught uh, that is a six tick note it's going to last for six ticks so there are 96 ticks in each bar and there are six ticks on each step so six times 16 gives you 96 so basically there are 96 ticks per phrase or a bar in four four time signature although other time signatures are possible so we have to ask ourselves why 96 well the reason that I guess they've used 96 in this instrument uh, is that the factors for the number 96 are as follows 1 2 3 4 6 8 12 16 24 32 48 and 96 itself this makes it great for note values because of course you know you've got 4 4 you've got 6 8 and you've got 12 8 you've got those note values that I spoke about before so it very much hinges round of the factors of 96 and does musical notation so if you're not sure what a factor is, it's a number that a given number can be divided by without a remainder. So as an example, 96 can be divided by 4, gives you 24 with no remainder. Or it can be divided by 8, gives you 12 with no remainder. So we say that 4 and 8 are factors of 96. So I'm going to show you the values of the ticks in terms of fractions and in terms of actual note values now. So this is a musical stave and you can see this piece of music, if you could call it a piece of music, is in 4-4 four, four times in this year. So each bar, if you like, equals 4 quarters, 4 over 4. So the note that fills one bar of 4-4 four, four is called a semi breathe and it is a round open note without a stem. I say round, it's more like a, a flattened oval. Anyway, it's called a semi breathe it's called a whole note. 4 over 4 is the same as 1, if you like, and that represents 96 ticks on the Dirty Wave M8, so 96 ticks, add all those together, and that's one bar. If you look at the next one down, which is the Minim, that is what we call a half note. Uh, so it's only 48 ticks, you need two of those in a bar of 4-4. Four, four. It's half of the whole, so it's worth 48 ticks. Okay, so there are 48 ticks to a Minim. The Minim is a round open note with a stem, there are 24 ticks to a crotchet, which is the quarter note. You're getting the idea, it's coming down in halves. The crotchet is a round filled in note with a stem. Uh, it's a quarter note and it's 24 ticks. And that is how the quarter note is a quarter of the whole. So the whole is 96 ticks and the quarter note is 24 ticks. And it just keeps halving. The quaver is the eighth note with 12 ticks. It's a filled in note with a beam. Now the semi quaver, you can see it's a filled in note with two beams which are kind of bent upwards 16th note six ticks and that is one step see how we've gone down from the whole to the 16th so we're halving each time the semi brief whole note 96 ticks the minim half note 48 ticks the crotchet the quarter note 24 ticks the quaver the eighth note 12 ticks the semi quaver the 16th note six ticks and that is one step one each of those steps in that phrase then is a semiquaver. You can go beyond that. The demi semiquaver has got three kind of curled up beams. That's a 30 second note and that is three ticks. You can have a hemi demi semiquaver which is a 64th note which would be worth one and a half ticks. And obviously you can't really get one and a half ticks but just so you know what that's worth getting even more ridiculous now the semi hemi demi semi quaver I think in America that's called the quasi hemi demi semi quaver which is the 128th note so you need 128 of those in a bar to uh, to fill it up 
or bar of 4, 4, and that's worth 3 quarters of a tick, 0.75 of a tick. Then we have dotted notes. If you're not sure what a dotted note is, well, it's a normal note, if you like, with half of its own value added on. So a dotted minim is 72 ticks because a minim is 48. 48 plus half of 48 is 24, add those together, and it's 72. And again, it keeps halving. Dotted crotchet is 36 ticks. Dotted quaver, 18. Dotted semi-quaver, 9. Dotted demi-semi-quaver, 4.5. Just gets even more ridiculous. The dotted semi-hemi-demi-semi-quaver is 1 and one eighth ticks. It's all very geeky and nerdy, but you might find it interesting. So that's how we see the, the values of the ticks in terms of actual musical note values. So we've said one tick equals one ninety sixth of a bar, of a whole, if you like. So you can't really get a note of that value. The nearest you can get to that is a dotted semi hemi demi semi quaver, which is a dotted a 1 128th note that's not exactly the same because that's 1 85th of a whole or of a semi brief if you like so one tick is not an actual note value at all but it is 1 96th of a bar or a phrase so if you like one tick is 1.042 percent of a bar of 44 so slightly greater than one percent of the bar Hopefully this very nerdy video has given you an idea on why the Dirty Wave M8 operates on the system of 96 ticks per bar. Hopefully it's also uh, taught you a little bit about note values in terms of the M8. You might have found that interesting if you got through to the end well done. Maybe your life is richer because of this video, maybe it isn't. But anyway, if you did watch it, thank you very much and don't forget to like and subscribe.